hardness tester. It's a universal hardness tester. It can test from one kilogram to 150 kilograms. It will do all the Rockwell scales, but it does not have Brunel. Um, to set it up, first you turn it on with the button on the side here, and then when it asks you to log in, you just push log in. There's no password. Um, you choose your method here, so it's got all the Rockwell scales here. Um, if you have to know what these scales do, then on our poster up here, we've got all the uh, columns will tell you what is the load and what type of indenter it uses. And also you can cross-reference between those um, scales. So this is a low-carbon steel. Um, I'm assuming it's kind of soft. If you don't know the hardness of your sample, you want to test with the harder indenter first because with the steel ball indenter, if your sample is harder than that, then you will dent the steel ball and you don't want to have to exchange that. So first thing you want to do is Put your sample up on the top here. You want to center it under the indenter, and you can use this telescoping thing to sort of raise the height of it up. One thing you don't want to do is uh, raise it too high. So these guards show you the maximum height that your sample should be. So if I had a much thicker sample, then it would prevent me from hitting the indenter if I tightened it all the way up. Okay, so put your sample in there. I'm going to raise it maybe two millimeters below the indenter tip. And you can kind of see the reflection of the indenter on the metal surface as well. Um, I'm going to choose the HRB scale here. And then go to position and hit measure. It's going to auto-rotate the turret to choose the correct indenter. It will lo lower the indenter into the surface. You want to make sure that you're at least two diameters of indentation away from any edges and away from any other indents in your sample. As you dent it, it hardens the area around it, so you want to prevent that. Um, so it's very quick. At the end of this, you'll see your hardness number here, and this would be reported as HRB 88.65. Maybe take three measurements and do an average and standard deviation of that. If we have samples that are not flat, then we also have an adapter that you can take this off and store it in the drawer underneath the hardness tester. We've got this ring and a couple adapters for different diameter cylinders. So you're going to put that ring on the inside and then this indenter will fit in there. You can put a cylindrical object in there. If you measure the diameter of that cylinder, you can go into the settings and go to let's see actually go into method do geometric correction um, choose checkbox and type in the diameter of your cylinder in millimeters here